Hey guys, what's up? I'm Seraphim190. Welcome back to the transmission that is Seraphim190. That didn't sound right, but anyway, let's go. We, that rhymed and it didn't sound right, but anyway, guys, today I'd like to show you a epic campfire, and you can't go camping without an epic campfire, so here it is, and it's off at the moment, as you can see. It's all burnt out from the other night, but when I turn it back on, there you go, guys, fire. It's now on fire. You got flame, guys. So, yeah, you can turn it on and off, and that's what's amazing about this. And it looks awesome as well. It actually looks like a fireplace. And there you have it, guys. If you would like to know how this is built, please stick around. And if you would like to support my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment. Alright, so the first thing we're going to need is cobblestone fence. We're going to need a bed. We're going to need two buckets of water and one bucket of lava. We need four armor stands and a sticky piston. We do not need slime blocks, but we do need dirt blocks. This is actually an old build that was on the PC, I saw it a year ago and it didn't work when I first built this with the slime blocks but I figured out that you don't need slime blocks so let's get on with this. So first dig out the hole of the same peroxamidity. It was three deep by six so yeah do that, put a bed down, put water down, put two fences down next to the bed and water and then put two more fences on top of the water and the fence. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Didn't go too well today. But anyway, just put another block of water there and as you can see it goes over the bed and it ends up on the fence. So put two more blocks up in the air like so and put a put an armor stand down facing this way, put one facing this way, and very easily put one down this way. Oh, it's not so oh come on guys! Alright, I've ran out of armor stands, so I'm gonna go fly around and look for armor stands real quick all around my entire freaking world because I don't know where they are exactly. Oh my god guys, this ended up taking a long time. Oh my god, guys, but nonetheless, I did find some armor stands. Here's one over here. Wait, 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 wait. I, there it is, guys. Here's one here, so let's pick this one up. I don't know what it's doing there on its own. I have no idea, but not, oh, there's some more over here, guys, so I'll get some more armor stands real quick. This was from my previous video. Check that one out, too. Oh, guys, and check this video out. Jumping jacks. This was my other previous video. You'd like to check out. I got some armor stands. All right, so let's go back to the camping ground. Here we are, guys. Let's finish this tutorial real quick, snappy-like. So place another one facing that way and one facing this way. And we're done. Epic. Nice. So now we can like uh, put one more there just to make it look more patternable. That's better. Okay, once you've got it all even and Steven looking really well like so, you can now cover this water block up with a block. The second you do that, pull out another bucket of water and place it right there where the water already is. That actually pushes the stands in the right position. Break these two cobblestone fences away and break this one near the bed and when you do, quickly put it down. So you got the lava there just like so. You can see it catches on fire and it cools down all at the same time. So now the only trick here, this is the problem, was putting the dirt blocks back down. As you can see, it, you can't put them down where the armor stands and you have to actually put it over the top. On the PC version, people were using uh, slimes and things like that to get the dirt blocks down. However, I found that you can just use sticky pistons. So get two sticky pistons facing down onto your dirt blocks. And basically just keep pushing them down until they're in. So I'm going to put the redstone down, push it down. As you can see, it's not quite far enough. It's gone down, but it's not quite. One more block down, so get out your sticky pistons once again and do the same thing. So you have to get down nice and low for this one and have your upside down piston like so and just do it again and again. Eventually, eventually, you will have all four of them down like this and now you can break away your pistons like this and you're duh. We did it guys. Isn't that amazing? It's amazing. I would give credit to who built this but there's three other people and I don't know who built this first so there's a lot of people. I don't know how old this is but it's new now guys and I'm, I'm updating it for you guys so it works on consoles. Also, if you want to go a little further, what you can do is put a dispenser facing into where the lava is actually located. We probably should have done this earlier, but we didn't, so let's move on. So I found where the lava is. It's right here. Check this out. So you break this block out here, take away the lava, put a dispenser facing the same direction, put the lava back into the dispenser with a bucket, cover it back up like this, put a button on top of where the dispenser was and you're done and that's it guys and it goes black because of the glitch when the dirt blocks are covered i don't know how it's amazing and it looks like it's been burnt this i love this tutorial if you guys like this tutorial like i said there's more tomorrow probably i'm sarah from one i know i gotta go
It's Christmas. Damn it, it's Christmas. I shouldn't be here. But I'm 